Hey tubers. Just walk in to a roundabout camp. I've missed the camp like bushcraft. It's gonna be a noisy one. Come along. Can't tell you where it is though. It's big. We're safely in for the moment. <laughs> but uh, we shall see later. We'll find our pitch, I'll come back to you. Say hello Dan. Bye! Okay, roundabout. Roundabout now, funk soul brother. You can see the cars through there. Pretty covered. All the cars coming around there aren't even going to be looking in here because there's like a, a triple junction. So they've got to be concentrating around there. They're pulling off. And then the other side there, they're coming into the roundabout and then going off down here. So really it's only the people sitting here straight ahead that can see in and it's pretty covered. So I'll give you a little tour, but it goes out to, um, out to all this grassland here as well. So might get a bit of uh, night lapse later or a couple of photographs of stars at least but it's buggy as hell in here I didn't think it would be but it is so there's no water here and any water would drain off because it's concave if that's the right word but yeah Dan's just gone off to scout I probably see him there in the distance that's where we're sort of pitching up ish at the moment we're just hanging around for a bit just to see if anyone that saw us walk in here crossing the road reports us for any reason um, there's a couple of dead limbs kicking about I was going to have a different pitch than here I was thinking about going across here but there's a few dead limbs off trees I can't remember where our bags are now <laughs> lost already hmm propped against a tree somewhere where I do not know how can you get lost on a roundabout huh. I am sweaty Betty how can you get lost on a roundabout <laughs> well that's a big roundabout and I am actually oh, I was a tad lost but not really lost you know wouldn't take Einstein to work out how to get off really would it but I can see my pack from here so I'm gonna put some more bug spray on and um, enjoy the sounds of nature been looking forward to a, a roundabout camp for ages actually I know everyone's done them and still doing them but the opportunity arose to go with Dan so I thought yeah why not but you either love them or hate them and it's a different experience bit of an adventure and um, no, there was one tiny bit of rubbish in, well I say tiny, one bit of rubbish in here actually which was a, an old sleeping bag. So someone's been here in the past but there's no rubbish, there's no bottles, no cans, no litter, nothing. No fire, scars, nothing. So yeah, it's all good. Might be, uh, might be Burton Outdoors' permission of the future. <laughs> if you don't mind a bit of traffic diesel fumes, petrol fumes. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a bit when we're sort of starting to pitch up because we're hanging around for a bit, but it's humid in here. Goodbye. And this is where I was going to pitch, but there's a couple of dodgy branches there. But from there to there, I'm actually hammock camping. Well, I'm not hammock camping, I'm hammock bivying again tonight. But I'm using the, my new hammock, the G4 Free, to see how that stands up to being on the ground, if you see what I mean. Um, just to keep the bugs out, really. Otherwise, I would have just properly bivvied. But um, I got bits, the last video that I did with Tim and also the one I did with Rockstar Mark and also the previous one to that, possibly when we went to the Somewhere Forest on the south coast with um, Scoutman Steve and Dan. I'm still 
itching from bites that I got then, so I come out really bad with bites. But I've taken two Pyroton today, so hopefully I don't come up too bad. But um, yeah. Body under there. A rubber roll. Can you amuse yourselves for five minutes while the uh, bed's blowing up? Thanks. Not sure if this is going to work with this hammock. Um, we shall see. In case you couldn't tell, I'm actually using the hammock as a bug net. Same as last time with the DD. Um, oh, hang on, accident. That's a complete and utter fuck up. I'm going to try and sort it somehow. As you can see, I mean, it will do. It will stop the bugs getting in, and this should be clear of my face, but I need it to be a little bit tighter. But if you go too tight, then the um, structural ridge line then pulls it into a banana. So, hmm. I need that ridge line to be tightish. I'll come back to you. There you go then, a little bit of a fail. Um, my fault, I think, because the gap is too small. And the problem is, is that obviously with the, rid the uh, structural ridge line, it wants to get it up off the floor all the time. So, yeah, tricky one. Hmm, tiny bit of a faux pas with the hammock. Well, I'm sort of alright now, but yeah, I think I needed to span a wider gap actually. Um, there's a lot of sort of dead fully bits that are going to fall on our heads if I put it in a bigger gap, so it'll do. It was just it's a bit round my face, whereas the DD front line, because it's got the spreader bars, keeps it away from your face if you use it as a as a bivvy. So um, yeah. It's a night on a roundabout, it's not going to be comfortable. But yeah, I'm just making some dinner. I just had a tuna salad, um, which I didn't really need to show you that. And I'm now cooking some sort of curry, veggie curry, I think, a Wayfarer's one. But that's why it's, in, it's been an emergency one in my pack for ages, so um, that's why I'm scoffing it. See you in a moment. Right, I didn't actually film me uh, cooking it or eating it, but I basically boiled up some water, very simple. Chucked my Wayfarer's, um, what is it, vegetable chilli in the mix, <clears throat> opened it up and ate it. <clears throat> but I must say, to cut a very boring story short, it's actually pretty good. Um, if you like veggie stuff, 
I like both so uh, yeah pretty pleased with that actually very filling and very 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 spicy so go get one or two so Dan's little setup is a little coffin for tonight uh, the Jella something rather track one, track one which I think is a bit like a OEX Fox one is it or Fox two was something written on it around the back? I'll go and have a look. There you go, track one. I think it's quite an old old tent. He hasn't had it out for a couple of years, so just thought we'd uh, go a bit stealthier tonight. Yeah, look at my monstrosity here. Not particularly stealthy, really. That's not bad, but we're below the below the crest-ish on this Arunda boot. And that's my view in the morning. Not sure where the sun would be, though. The other way, I think. Uh, myself and Dan might have encountered a slight problem um, with, <laughs> with not farting, but with some. Um, roadworks that are about to be commencing on the roundabout by the looks of things and the truck's pulled up and there's cones out and they're putting signs out what we don't want them doing is coming in here for a shit because that's my job because that's yeah, Dan's job so I'm going to revert you back to the front facing camera and see if I can get you a little bit of uh, footage Ooh. Tripped over his feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, they've got the lights on and everything. And the problem is, as it gets darker, there's less traffic, so noise carries. Like me trampling on twigs. They're just there. Literally. I suppose 100 metres. Oh, there's a guy up with a high vis on. Oh. Exciting. They're blocking off that side of the road, I think. Oh well. Right, there's now three trucks, loads of workmen, and more cones going out by the looks of things. Be all right. Oh no, they're moving off. They're moving off. I think they might have gone. That's handy. I'll go and check what they've done over there. No, they're definitely still there, so I think they're blocking the roundabout off completely. There's a couple of trucks there and cones and signs. So, um, good fun. I do like an adventure. And a little bit of danger in my life, so. But what are they gonna say, you know? They're, gonna, they're not even gonna ask us to leave. They don't care, ain't their road all round about. But a bit of excitement. So we shall see what happens, because they're probably gonna start perhaps at 9.30, maybe 10. It's nine o'clock now, bang on, and they turned up bang on nine o'clock pretty much. So, who knows? The roundabout guys, the maintenance guys, are actually here, right on the edge of the roundabout. Right. <laughs> Lol. Well, it's going to be a proper noisy night because they are literally right on the roundabout. And I can see lots of trucks and stuff and the noise, they're using cutters and everything. So I think they're either pothole, repotholing, not making potholes obviously, resurfacing just potholes. So uh, Dan's down there now investigating, so hopefully he comes back with some, uh, some more news. But I went down there a minute ago and they're literally right there, so uh, such fun. You can hear loads of voices, there's loads of them out. 
Sleepless night, maybe. And not unusual for me. Check out my hair, look. It's not good. Uh, Dan's just given me a wagon wheel. And it's uh, Stig. Wagon wheel. Stig on wheels. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thanks, Dan. Look at my fat face. <laughs> Look at your fat face. Welcome. Mm. Can you hear the noise in the background? Yeah, it's them. You just said it sounds like the movie Terminator. It does sound like the movie Terminator, yeah. Terminator 1. Bye. Selagana. Evening. <laughs> in my little abode, 1 a.m. in the morning. Dan's in his little abode, or getting into his little abode. Road work's still going on. About to plug techno in my ears. And uh, yeah, it's been a really pleasant night actually. Not too drunk, which is good. And um, preparing for the noise that's about to happen as soon as the road work men hit this little big roundabout. Uh, goodbye. No, I'm filming you. Hey. <laughs> Morning. Morning, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Wee -wee. yeah. Wee Dan's going off for a wee wee and a poo poo. I'm just going to have a wee now. Okay. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's better. A bit better light on my fat face <laughs> from my earlier video. <laughs> my fat face. I must stop saying that. It's getting annoying, isn't it? It's getting old now. It's getting old, like me. So last month. Huh? So last month? Yeah. Put my shoes on properly. <laughs> Bit there to get my shoelace, my leg look cramped up. Uh. Oh, I think I need to drink some water. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Oh. Yeah, not a bad night's sleep actually, and uh, I woke up once in the night. Oh, I thought I got slugged. I don't know. I hate slugs. Uh, I woke up once in the night with a crick neck. For some reason, when I sleep on my left-hand side, not that you really want to know this, um, I get like a really bad crick in my neck. So I don't know what that's all about, but maybe changing pillows. I didn't bring the helium pillow, actually, which is normally all right. I brought the fake Sea to Summit nature hike one, which is pretty good normally. Yeah, I'm just playing with my structural ridge line but uh, yeah not a bad night's sleep uh, I'm going to show you the top view again actually because um, now the sun's coming through it looks quite pretty and this is what I sort of woke up to apart from looking through a bit of mesh so there we go it's getting noisier outside as well it was about 10 minutes of peace this morning before all that started up but a uh, very interesting night. Not sure what time the um, not sure what time the workmen disappeared. If they've actually disappeared, can't hear much goings on. But I just stuck some techno, technoid in my ears, and off I went pretty much straight away. So yeah, an interesting camp, a different camp, a little bit of an adventure with what was going on. It's, um, hmm, I'll bring you back in a minute, I'm going to get up. And, uh, do you need to see my setup? Maybe, I don't know. 
so there is the gondola, as Dan calls it. Um, I'll just briefly show you what went on with my sleep setup. Little cut down carry more. That's a uh, bed roll mat thing. I'll just cut that down into three. I don't really use that mat. Brilliant, really light, big enough to stand on and stuff. And then in the boudoir, I've got the OEX EV400, which is a summery sort of bag, goes down to one degree, I think. And then Sea to Summit Ether Light XT, large, and a fake nature type pillow behind it. Put my chair beside me so I can use that as a shelf. My, that's not a pea bottle, by the way, it's just an orange squash, head torch, gloves, etc., if I needed them. And I kept my DD tarp there. Just in case it rained, I could throw it over the top. But um, I changed, I was originally using bungees to hold the ends up, but I changed it to the tree huggers. But yeah, pretty comfy night actually, I must say. It was all right. Well, that's the end of a successful sneak sneak onto a big roundabout mission. Yeah, really good, really enjoyed it actually. It's um, a bit weird waking up not smelling of uh, fire smoke, because <clears throat> we didn't have a fire at all because of what was going on. Although we were just gonna have a tiny little one, I think. But um, yeah, no, it was really good, really enjoyed it. And uh, had a pretty good night's sleep, although only four hours. Oh, I could see something funny. Uh, haha. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Right. We're off out. I'm going to cross the road, so I might be able to get a bit of footage of that. You never know. Dan's coming up behind me. Cheers, Dan. Thanks for a good night. No, thank you. It's good. Different. It was, wasn't it? A little bit of an adventure. It's a bit scary. And the adventure's not over yet because we've still got to cross the road, which is a busy road as well. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Burn Outdoors, currently outdoors with Mr. CLB, Camp Life Bushcraft. Go check him out. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. hide the uh, street signs. Successful.
for a successful mission. Goodbye. Just watching out for ticks now, because I'm in tick territory. Tick, tick on, no, 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 no. Anonymous. Three, two, one. Don't come and stick your cock in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, I had actually not a bad night. Um, four hours straight sleep. I woke up once with a crick in your mouth. <laughs> with a cock in my mouth. <laughs> <coughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one.